This is the post-construction cleaning calculator and for today's example we're going to use the numbers in our examples here. So let's say you have a building of 20,000 square feet. You'll use your tab button to move to the next field. Now we have three different levels of cleaning. We've got a rough clean, a light clean, a final clean. You can give an estimate for any one of these phases or if you're going to do, going to do all three phases you can do an estimate for all three. So you can either enter a production rate or an hours per cleaning. If you enter a production rate, it will calculate how many hours it's going to take. If you enter how many hours you estimate it's going to take, it will fill in your production rate. So if we use the production rate of 1,200 square feet, it'll tell you that it's going to take 16.67 hours. So we'll fill in the rest of these examples. And there's your hours. Now in order to get the total hours per cleaning, you need to select which cleanings you're going to be doing. So if you are only going to be doing the rough clean, this will pull up the 16.67 hours here. If you're going to do two of them, let's say the rough clean and the light clean, we've got rough clean here and light clean, that's a two-phase cleaning, it's going to add these two up. If you're going to do all three, it's going to add up all three. So in this example, we're going to do all three phases. Now you can enter either a price per square foot or an hourly rate. So in this example, let's use 15 cents a square foot and let's estimate that we're going to charge $25 an hour. And the reason you're going to do this in two ways is that now you can compare. What's the price if I charge 15 cents a square foot? It's $3,000. If I charge $25 an hour, it's $3,083.50. So this is a good way for you to compare your numbers. Now this also gives you the ability to adjust your pricing slightly. So if you feel that's a little bit high for your area, maybe you'll go for the low end estimate. Or maybe you figure you could do a little bit better than that. Or maybe you want to enter your own price. So let's say that you know these are the prices it came up with, but you want to charge $3,100. Okay, you can go ahead and enter that in both fields or you can enter you know, whatever you like there. Let's say that you're going to have five employees on this job and they're each going to get paid $11 an hour. So all you have to do is enter their hourly wages and hit the tab and it's going to tell you how much time on that job that is going to be required. And so you'll see as you enter more employees each time on the job goes down because they're going to be sharing the total hours. So if you had five employees, each employee would get 24.67 hours. Now you're going to enter your expenses. It's already calculated the labor expense, which is right here. You need to enter your employment taxes. So you would enter 7.65% in the U.S. for FICA and Medicare. We're going to enter 0.8 for FUDA. And your SUDA rate is whatever it is for your company. It's individual for each company. We're going to just use 1.5 in our estimate here. Other employment taxes is if you have perhaps local taxes or maybe you live in a country outside the United States and you have a different way of calculating your taxes, you can enter that percentage in here. Liability insurance is usually a percentage per thousand dollars of payroll. So for this example, we're going to use 1%. And then you would enter your work and worker's comp rate here. And we're going to use 9.5% for this example. If you know your overhead percentage, if that's something you track, you can also calculate in your overhead percent. So for this example, we're going to use 27%. You can also enter in your estimated percentage of supplies that it's going to take. So let's just say it's going to be 10% on this job which might be a little high, but if you're adding in floor care expenses into the total estimate, you might add that in here. You can also enter equipment rental charges if that's part of your um, costs. So here's your total expenses for this job. And then here is the results. If you're going to charge $3,100, your cost is $2136.36. Your profit dollars is $963.64 and your percentage of profit is 31.09%.